Thank you very much. Th thank you very much, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. And uh, I, um, I would also like to congratulate the Honourable Member for, for Stroud for a, a, an excellent introduction to, to the issue. I would also like to declare um, an interest as co-chair of the National Union of Journalists Parliamentary Group. And I want to use the time that I have this afternoon to address some of the union's concerns about the online abuse of journalists, as my good friend, the Right Honourable Member for Hayes and Harlington did a little earlier in the debate. Many journalists, particularly freelancers, use social media platforms such as Twitter to promote their work and the work of their news organisations. And as such, many members have been the subject of vile abuse, rape and even death threats, as my Honourable, my right honourable Friend referred to earlier. Women in particular are targets, with, with those who write about traditionally male topics such as sport, technology or gaming often singled out for particular abuse. Now, like the NUJ, I welcome the publication of the National Action Plan for the Safety of Journalists. Madam Deputy Speaker, it's long overdue. H however, there's still a lot of work to be done. A and could I draw to the Minister's attention and to the Honourable Member for Stroud that the internal moderator guidelines that were leaked to the Guardian newspaper revealed that Facebook's bullying and harassment policy explicitly allows for public figures to be targeted in ways otherwise banned by the site, including calls for their death. I just think that's incredible. Yeah. That the, the NUJ supports the need for much greater transparency and accountability from the tech giants in tackling the online abuse of journalists and indeed public figures. Um, social media messaging organisations are simply not acting to stop this abuse or to ban serial offenders. And the NUJ quite rightly insists that the new regulatory framework must make clear to companies their responsibilities to address this online harm. And crucially, sanctions must e exist, uh, even against the tech giants, or perhaps especially against the tech giants, if they don't take appropriate action. It's important to note that the online abuse of journalists is not always anonymous. The, the, the government stated that improving public recognition of the value of journalists was a priority as part of their action plan. Public attacks by journalists on politicians uh, it also serves to undermine the public's re re uh, recognition of the value of journalists. Madam Deputy Speaker, a thriving de democracy requires a diverse press. Citizens making decisions in a democratic process must be properly informed. I do hope that Ministers will meet with the NUJ ahead of the publication of the Bill to ensure that this is the case. Thank you. At number 13.